So I wanted to talk about a few different ways that I can apply permaculture skills and sustainability practices to my home. The first thing that I have in mind is I want to make a solar oven. A solar oven um, is a little makeshift oven that I can construct out of reusable and repurposed items to cook my food and not use energy and heat and gas and heat up my house here in Phoenix in the middle of the summer. I will need the following items, repurposed wood, glue, repurposed window glass, tinfoil, tape, and nails. Then I will make a box out of the repurposed wood and line the inside with tinfoil. I will fill the glass I will fit the glass piece so that it fits snugly over the top, over um, the box that I construct, and then I'll be able to remove that glass and whatnot um, to put the food in the oven. And I will fashion a type of um, top line with tin foil, you know, like those, I'm thinking kind of like those old things that kind of look like this and the ladies used to use um, to get a tan. Well, I'd kind of use that and place that on top of the box so that the sun can come down, hit that, hit that right there, and then that sun rays and heat will shoot through the window pane and heat up the food. By using the resources nature, nature provides me, I will be able to feed my family. I will use this oven to cook various meals and items while the sun is out and in Phoenix we have tons of sun. I will not only be reducing my carbon footprint but I will save a ton of money on my energy bill and I will not use the stove or oven to cook with. And as the second principle in permaculture says, by developing systems that collect resources when they are abundant we can use them in times of need. Hence I'm utilizing the heat and rays of the sun to cook my food. The second thing that I'd like to talk about is I want to use this kitty litter called feline pine kitty litter and it's a re um, it's it's this special material that can decompose really easy so what I'll do is I'll take my kitty litter and I will put it into the garden instead of wasting all the precious cat poo, I will compost it into the garden and help build a healthier soil by providing, added, by providing added nutrients and organic matter to the soil. I will let nature take its course and at the same time create a regenerative soil for my garden. Waste not, want not. And through repurposing my kitty litter, I will not only feed the little creatures in the soil, but I'll feed my family and my community with the food that comes out of it. Talk about some serious regeneration here and repurposing. <laughs> now the third thing that I want to create uh, is going to be rain gutter. So I'm sitting outside on my patio and don't mind me, it's I live in a condo and I do the best that I can with the space that I have for my garden. So I kind of want to give you a tour here. But I'm going to create a way to store and use the runoff water from the gutters and allowing my awning to support those gutters and collect the rainwater from the roof. So here's my little garden. I've kind of left along the east side this year. We right over there by the sugar cane and loofah because it's just it's insane. But anyways, what I'd like to do you see there's the roof. See there's a gutter over there. I kind of like to do what she's doing. And I'd like to put a gutter on top and have it come down to here to this awning. And then I'd like to run another gutter because the ra rainwater that comes off here anyways pounds my garden. Look, here's a there's a nice tomato. I'm going to eat that. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm. So juicy. Mm. So, I'd like to run gutters going this way 
once it stops hitting the ends of my beds, because when it rains, it just takes out this whole part of the garden. Then, over here, so here's the east side, there's the west side. So over here, right now I have this compost pile that I've been putting garden mulch in, but I'd have the like little vents come down here and have bins or storage tanks right here to collect the water. I found something on the web that it cost $79. What was it? It cost $79 um, and it's a kit that has these hoses that can fit tightly into the little barrels and stuff so I could make it secure so that the water doesn't get mosquitoes and mold because I did that before and I collected water out here and it just had an opening and next thing I knew is I was a cesspool for breeding mosquitoes. Not cool. Um, by using the resources, again, that nature provides while they're abundant, I'll be able to water my garden with chlorine-free water. Slow and steady wins the race, and by collecting this rainwater, I will utilize the resources around me. I am a master at figuring out problems. Just watch, and I will be able to reuse the rainwater, feed my garden and my worms, and... In turn, I will feed my family, reduce my carbon footprint because I will spend less money at the grocery store, less gas to get there, less bags in the process, less time and energy for everything that goes into shopping at the store because I'll just grow to my garden. So thank you. Um, I just wanted to share those three things with you. I hope you enjoyed any of those ideas. And if there's you know, anything that you've been wanting to do lately to help reduce your carbon footprint or create uh, sustainability in your life to reduce waste and just make things a little bit more economical and practical, definitely comment below or um, send me an email. Thank you.